Hi, I'm Kylie, and um, my project is called Kick It. My question was, what is the best air pressure and area of the ball to kick to achieve the furthest distance? My hypothesis was the best um, air pressure would be 12 pounds, and the best place to kick the ball would be in the middle. Um, I did some research to find out what the best, or what the most used um, air pressure is and like the average air pressure so that I would know what which air pressures to use. I used three different air pressures. Um, the like average and most used one was 10 pounds. So I did two below that and two above that. So my air pressures were eight pounds, 10 pounds, and 12 pounds. Um, the materials were a size five soccer ball, a pressure gauge, a ball pump, two ball inflating needles, a tape measure, wood, a spring, and a soccer cleat. Um, I built this out of my wood, spring, and soccer cleat. So I built that because if I would kick the ball, it wouldn't be the same every time. But since I built this with the spring, it's the same spring and the same structure that kicks it. So it will be the same every time. Um, uh, here are some graphs. This is for the air pressure test. Um, and then this is for the position test. My procedure was I used a size 5 soccer ball for my wooden structure to kick. I did five tests with each air pressure and each, each position. Um, and I measured the distance that the ball went after it got kicked. So I pulled this out so that the spring would stretch out and when I let go, it kicked the ball. I measured with the tape measure the distance and how long it went, how far it went. My independent variables are the different air pressures and the different positions that the ball is being kicked. And safety hazard and precaution were one could possibly get a splinter from the wood or pinch themselves on the spring. One could prevent this by not rubbing their hand on the wood and not putting their hand near the spring while it is being pulled back. So my summary, the result for the air pressure was 12 pounds and for the position it was the middle. So my hypothesis was supported because I said 12 pounds and I said that the best position would be the middle. My conclusion, um, so doing this um, science experiment made me think of other science experiments that I could do in the future. Um, some are what it could, what the, is the best um, surface for the ball to roll on, and if there's a certain shoe size or ball size that's the best for a soccer ball.